Oh no. CapCut's stealing my videos and using them for nefarious purposes. What am I gonna do? Okay, yeah, CapCut's new terms of service are kind of scary, and it does look like it gives CapCut a whole bunch of rights to your videos, and I'm not a lawyer, this isn't legal advice, but yeah, they've got a lot of rights to use your videos. CapCut, of course, says that language is to allow them to use the videos to run the service, and I'm sure there is truth to that, but it does seem that the terms of service grant them a little more accessibility to your videos than you might want. But here's the thing, they only have access to videos that you upload to their servers, so if you're using the CapCut online version, it's pretty much everything. For desktop and mobile, it's only if you are uploading content to use some of their features, such as the Spaces feature, which allows you to upload media to their servers. You can access it from other locations or other versions of the app, as in from desktop or online or mobile. Most of their AI features also require your videos to be uploaded to the server. So if you're afraid CapCut's gonna steal your video and use it for bad purposes, then just use the desktop version and don't use any of the AI features or the Spaces feature. The short version is anytime you share or upload using any of CapCut's servers, you give them access to your videos. But here's the thing, there have been literally hundreds of millions of hours of video content uploaded to CapCut servers and there is not one reported instance of CapCut ever using your video content or my video content or anybody else's video content for anything other than running the app. Not one case. If I'm somehow wrong, post a link to that instance in the comments below. So yeah, CapCut is not stealing your videos and using it to promote CapCut or some other crazy reasons. But if they did, I'd be like, thanks guys! You'd be the first and you'd probably become Instagram or YouTube or TikTok famous. For me personally, I couldn't care less if they stole and used and made commercials out of my videos. I would take the free publicity and just not care. What about that private stuff? What about, you know, yesterday my wife filmed me making breakfast naked in the kitchen. What if they got that? Dude, nobody, nobody wants to see that. I'm like not worried at all. I just don't care. I don't care at all. All. I don't care. I don't care. What about me? I was a pro Hollywood editor for like 18 years and I used all the pro apps, you know, I used Avid and Final Cut Pro, the original one, and Adobe Premiere Pro, and that's what I was using before I used CapCut. And yeah, I, I, I like those apps and I could use those apps, but mostly nowadays I almost exclusively use CapCut because in my opinion it is the easiest beginner to intermediate software out there. It's constantly being upgraded. It's staying on the cutting edge of everything. And I just like it. Like the best app to use is the one that you like. I personally genuinely like CapCut, which is why I created a course. So yes, I am for sure biased. Speaking of my course, I am currently in the process of remaking the entire course. I actually just finished filming all of the modules for version 2.0 of Edit with Trev and Master CapCut, and you can purchase it in advance now at a massive discount. So my old course, version one, was 97 bucks. The new version, version two, is gonna be $129. It's full of CapCut's updates, which are happening all the time. But if you buy it before version two is released, you can get version one for $49, and then get version two for free. Just enter the code heck yes at the time of checkout. This is definitely a course geared towards beginners. So if you don't know anything about editing, this is the course for you. Just click on the link below or go to mastercapcut.com or I think up there, up there, there's, there's also a link. The other thing you really want to consider is that if you're online, dude, your privacy is toast. I've just given up on caring. Right now, the federal government, the state government, Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, Apple, Androids, they've got terms of service that have you sign your life away. They already know everything about you, bro. You're, you're not gonna hide it. I mean, if you're really that paranoid, then you need to freaking throw away your phone, shred it, you probably gotta, gotta put it in a blender. Will it blend? Turn off your internet, toss your laptop, and never go online ever again. But the stuff that's already out there, it, it's out there, you, you're not getting it back. What I've learned in my advanced stage to do is to not worry about the stuff I have no control over. Maybe it's because I'm 61. Maybe I've just realized what the reality is, so I just don't worry about things I have little to no control over. But what you do have control over is becoming a better editor, and if you're just getting started, I made you this introductory CapCut video right there, and that one's free. You, you don't even have to get my course.